Hello folks, welcome to the first part of the React Native Messenger application demonstration video series. So in today's episode, I'm going to demonstrate the sign up part of the application. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the demonstration. As you are able to see, our AVD is already up and running and I already installed my application on this thing. So now I'm going to launch my application. It took us to the sign in page right away. Since we don't have account to sign in with, first we have to create account in the sign up process. So now I'm clicking on this button to go to the sign up page. Now as you could see this is the UI of our sign up page. So let's start our sign up process by selecting a profile picture. We could click on this pencil icon now here to open the image browser of this device. <laughs> okay now I'm gonna select this awesome picture of mine. Alright now I'm gonna finish the remaining part of the sign up. Okay, now I'm gonna finish the process by clicking on this button here. Alright, now the app gives us a success alert like this. Then as you could probably see, it took us to the sign-in page. Okay, because I'm gonna explain the sign-in part in depth in tomorrow's video, let's get into the coding part of the sign-up page. Alright, now we are in VS Code and now I am showing the signup.js file. As you could see from the top of this JS document, I am importing various React hooks like this. As you could see, I have imported some installed third party ones too, like this font awesome and this select drop down. Then inside this signup function, I am setting up constants for the signup credentials and I am defining their use states. Then inside this UIJS constant, you can see the design of our UI components. To set countries inside our database to the country selection drop down menu, we are using this country load function here. We are sending request of that function to the PHP side using the get method like this. Then we are using this asynchronous function select PFP to load the image library of the device to select profile pictures. Then as you could see inside this sign up request function we are appending inserted user data into a form data. Then from the bottom of this function, we are sending our request to the PHP side using the POST method like this. If the PHP side has given response text as signed up successfully, this is navigating user to the sign in page. If it wasn't the case, this is alerting the error message like this. Then finally these are all stylizing codes of our UI. Alright now let's get into the PHP side. As you are able to see this is the country loader.php file. First we've retrieved country entries from our database. Then as you could see we've inserted all of them to a PHP array. Then finally we've encoded that country array to JSON and we've encoded it like this.
then this is the sign up.php file as usual we will grab the receiving credentials using the post method like this then here's the verification process of the inserted credentials first we are checking required credentials were inserted or not if they weren't we are echoing error messages like this Then we are checking out does inserted mobile number contain 10 numerals. Then we are checking out inserted mobile number is a valid Sri Lankan mobile number or not. Then we are checking out retype password matches with the initial inserted one or not. Then we are checking out is there already an entry with the same mobile number in our database. If that's the case this is alerting an error message like this. But if that wasn't the case this is continuing the sign up process like this. After finishing up the sign up process successfully this is echoing a message like this. So that's all for today's episode folks. See you on the next video. Bye.